Charging with digital probes. Um, you can charge with digital probes. They do not come with a charging tee or anything like that. Uh, everybody that uses them know they are very handy and everybody wants to be able to do it. But we have to make sure there's no chance of any contaminants uh, or air or moisture, which would become a non-condensable to get into there. Uh, so you're gonna have to make sure you do it right. So you're gonna need a charging tee of some sorts. This is a little uh, swivel tee that I use. Uh, Apion actually makes a really good charging tee. Um, if I have to get another one, I'll probably go with the Apion. Uh, you can find those pretty easy. But before you put your uh, suction probe on, which suction is blue, we know, uh, with the probe, push the tee on there. Make sure your probe's turned on. Put this one on the side here. Discharge. We know it's red, so that's your liquid line. Put that probe on there. And you notice with the probes, there's not much of any blowback whatsoever. Uh, so that's always a good thing. That's why a lot of people like the probes. Um, you're gonna have to have a standard yellow hose with a ball valve on it. Depends on what style of hose you use, what you're gonna have to do to make sure you bleed it. I looked all over YouTube trying to find a good video uh, to try to explain um, actually at our shop how to do it. And uh, I didn't like how they did it. So I, I think there was still potential for error in that line. So we're gonna do it right now. So the end that has the ball valve on it, I've got my ball valve closed, but I'll put that on the other side of my T. Okay, so now we've got the other end of the hose. We're gonna hook that to our tank. Now before we tighten that uh, hose all the way down on that tank, because we already know that there's Freon in this unit, uh, which normally I'd have my app up and you can see it, but we already know there's Freon in here. If there's no Freon in it and you're doing something different, then you're gonna have to uh, do this a different process. But if there's already Freon in it, you've got pressure in it, we've got pressure up to the valve, so Open that valve up, that'll let the pressure go all the way to the tank. Crack your hose. That way you have pressure coming out. So then now we know there is no air whatsoever that's possible in this hose. So now you can close your valve, turn your tank on. Always use your scale, flip the tank upside down. And then when we're charging this thing, you can use your valve to actually let the Freon in. But we're only doing small bursts at a time. You'll be sitting there watching your uh, app. You can use the Measure Quick app or the Field Piece app. Um, you just do short bursts at a time to let that liquid refrigerant in there. Uh, but you do want to go very slow because you know that is getting in there. If you're getting close to your superheater subcooling numbers that you're looking for, if you go too fast, you will get too much in it in a hurry. So just nice slow burst keep watching your numbers and see what it does and that's about it